What is going on, everyone? We back at it again. Arch, you know what I'm saying? Last episode, he beat them niggas up, bro. <laughs> Kefla, Kava, beat the ass. But now the King, Champa, and Vados pulled up. You know what I'm saying? So, pff, we got some more ops to deal with. <sighs> Pull Vados. I don't want to see Vados again, you know what I'm saying? Get hold, but you know what I'm saying? If it, it comes down to it, bro, it is what it is type beat, bro. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just dive on in, bro. Hit the video a like, comment below, subscribe, hit the bell. All that good jazz, you know what I'm saying? Go, go subscribe to Arch. You know what I'm saying? Get my boy, get my boy to a milli. You know what I'm saying? He, he deserves it, bro. He eating off this fucking series, though. Oh, God. <laughs> he is eating. But let's go. And I can't hear, I can't hear anything. What happened? Oh, it's on mute. What the fuck? I'm stupid. Begins with King Sadala having just emerged from the pyramid of power. Yeah. Walking over towards Kefla and Kaba, who stand eagerly waiting, and of course weakened after being beaten by Vegito. <laughs> Father, Hatosa. you, you look different. Kefla, his half-daughter, mm. naturally left near speechless, not only at the sudden arrival of the king, but his change in appearance too. While Kaba, in synchronization, lets out, King... Sadala, he's changed. Did he finally perfect it? <laughs> Hello? The king, though, with an emotional face, just remains with forward. his eyes locked onto the two, not saying a you can word. See his eyes, bro. And it's unclear if the years of training had changed his very personality until. My daughter, look <laughs> at you. I'm proud. With a calm and collected smile, <laughs> the king softly grabs onto the fused warrior's shoulder and says lovingly, So this is what you achieved. I'm impressed. You've done well, and by the looks of it, she you really did a real didn't. number on you. She really didn't. Like, now bro, she didn't go fucking I'll god or blue or nothing like that. <laughs> what? But Damn. despite the king's heartfelt words, the totally void of emotional intelligence Kefla just grows comedically to Uzaru like in stature and screams at her father. You deal with him now? Don't give me that. I lost an arm out here because you took so long. What kind of father are you? Yeah. You haven't even asked me if I'm okay. And what's with your missing beard? You look like my little brother now. Ugh, I'm so done with you. Little brother. Leaving the king of a nothing short Bruh. of completely awkward and defeated face as he just stares into the distance, whispering under his breath, Weird. I thought she'd think this was cool. I wanted to surprise you. Hey, that's tough, but man. But just as easily, the king's face then returns to normal. Now looking at Kaba, he says, Never mind. Since when do women ever know what really looks good on a man? Right, Dale. Kaba? Dale. Anyway, what's the situation here? Is this foreign king just as strong as we thought? Or is he just another weakling Champa overreacted about? But I found a hole. <sighs> no. But as Kaba He's struggles to different. get back onto his feet, he can only grumble until getting up and looking over to the king with dead eyes. Mm. No, he's stronger, way stronger than we ever thought or prepared for. I don't think, I don't think this is even his final form. You will be right. <laughs> but on hearing this, in probably a surprise to most of us, the king of the universe six saints seems overjoyed. You want here on demon time, cut. Out. Perfect, just the way I wanted. After all, we both know this isn't my final form either. <laughs> Vegito, meanwhile, who still has his arms folded, watching on as the trio converse, just calls out impatiently, Uh, excuse me! Sorry to interrupt the reunion. 
But who exactly might you be? Uh oh. You seem. You seem a little familiar. Hmm. <laughs> oh, is that so? The king, looking out the corner of his eye after being addressed, then responds. All in good time, my friend. Before turning his body to face Capra and Cabba and continuing, I'll be right back. Just need to have a little chat with the kids, alright? After which, instantly, uh -oh. the king then turns his back to Capra and Cabba and outstretches his arms to either side. One arm in front of Capra and the other in front of Cabba. But doing? neither seems shocked or surprised as if they'd prepared for this very moment their entire adult lives. What the fuck are they doing? As the king what says, do? All right, it's time you two begin the ritual. Ah. <laughs> as meanwhile, a thoroughly pleased and calm as anything jumper looks to his angel in the background, saying snidely, You see, Vados, what did I tell you? The oracle fish never lies. The plan is finally starting after all this time. Everything we prepared for is finally coming to fruition. Now do your part and heal them at once, Vados. As mm. Vados instantly, even while in the middle of responding, yes, my lord, as you wish, begins vanishing from the spot. In a flash, reappearing behind Kaba, Kefla, mm. and the king, saying in a hushed tone, Okay, you two, stand still. This will only take a moment. Ah! Me. As immediately, you and Kefla become enveloped in a shining, bright white light that takes the two by surprise with what it does to them. That's a carboosh, yeah. In an instant, Kefla's energy is seemingly perfectly restored, transforming back into her full power Super Saiyan form, while Kaba 2 becomes engulfed back in his mysterious white aura raging in red lightning. As even he looks down to his hands in shock and comments, Our oh, powers, they're back. Kefla, we can do it now! Uh -oh. And with that said, the two give each other a nod in silence, as they had already discussed beforehand just what would happen in this situation. Before simultaneously, each places a hand on the shoulder of the king. They do not got it, so they need more things. three what? begin to then surround themselves in a calm aura that begins to move in one direction. From the youngsters, to the king himself, as the king with a smirk comments, <coughs> There you go, give me your energy, your king will put an end to all of this. Mm. <coughs> they must be joking, both of them are giving him their energy, that's the big plan? How <laughs> pointless, there's only so much a body can take. This is no Super Saiyan God ritual. All giving them their share of energy will only serve to marginally increase whatever strength he already has. Tch! <laughs> Amateurs, we Saiyans in Universe 6 learned that a long time ago. <laughs> Not true, Saiyan! Uh -oh. But as Vegito disregards uh -oh. the efforts of the three Saiyans, the God of Destruction of Universe 6 has something to add, saying sharply, Don't compare what you scummy Saiyans from Universe 7 can do to what our Saiyans can do. Oh, the shit. King is no ordinary Saiyan, and definitely no run-of-the-mill everyday piece of trash like you. Mm. Before with a more relaxed tone, as if truly believing the words coming out his mouth, he looks to the sky and begins explaining, This king is like no other. He is the warrior the Oracle Fish foretold to be the strongest in our universe's history. 
the mm. true successor to the God of Destruction throne. A Saiyan born with the highest potential of his entire species. Not by talent, but by the number of so-called S-cells within his body. He brought the S-cells back in. <laughs> S-cells! This last line suddenly sending a shiver of shock and confusion through Vegito's entire body as he wonders, Where? Where have I heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your memory has wavered, Master. As Kaba, looking coldly at his former teacher, continues, S-cells. S-cells are what we Saiyans all have in our bodies in differing amounts, Master. It's what enables us to transform, and they are said to be in greater amounts in those with gentler hearts. Us Saiyans from Universe 6 were always predisposed to have way higher amounts than the evil planet-conquering Saiyans of your universe. Mm. That's why Kale, Caulifla, and myself were able to transform just by focusing on the tingles on our backs while you had to mm. through far more. Mm. But even oh, us shit, three shit right now. only have 25% of the maximum S-cells a Saiyan body can have. The scientists say even that is 10% more than the Saiyans of your universe, though. But the mm. king, the king possesses 99%. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and she laughs. Like, Bruh, stop talking shit. You got your ass beat. Where your arm at? And with that many S cells, Goku, he's going to be able to use all of our power together. <laughs> Who knew my old man would finally become useful for something? Bruh. What? Vegito, hearing this, is initially full of shock not realizing the warrior before him was anything special. Questioning, Combine your full powers together? So like a fusion, but between four different Saiyans. Ugh. He contemplates on the monstrosity Ugh. that these four could produce yeah. until... <laughs> oh shit. Amazing! Oh, as shit. from what first started as a small smirk, soon turns into a full-on crazy laugh. As in a twist, Vegito is completely excited by the idea, saying, I was hoping this universe could give me more of a challenge. This will be perfect! Might make me test out even a quarter of my abilities. Now stop all the talking and... Bring it on! Show uh -oh. me your power, fools! Oh my god. As in a sudden fit of rage and impatience, Vegito overflows with a hunger for battle that takes over his mind. Oh my god. <sighs> the sudden Nigga, is scared, bro. He want all the smoke. Begins to intimidate the gods themselves. You ain't. You, watch on. You pussy, Shampoo. We're not worried about you, bro. Face, he comments to his angel. Both you and Universal Eleven gotta Wait. go. You have to go fucking get more to, to fight this nigga, Why bro. Why is he excited, Bados? Because he's a Saiyan. This Saiyan not scared. You just is said he it. He'll idiot? say it. <laughs> he go. He just cautious, Bados, with a sweat <laughs> drop coming down her face, just whispers back in a fake confidence. Don't worry, Lord Chumper. This must just be their typical Saiyan bravado. Vegeta-san was exactly the same. He'll think twice once the king unleashes his true power. I mm -hmm. can promise you that. But just as Vada says that, suddenly both Kefla right. and Kaba are reverted back to their base forms as if now completely out of energy. As Kefla says, Oof, that was quick. While Kaba whispers, It's... It's done, King. <laughs> About time. Oh, shit. As the King, now having seemingly taken every drop of energy from the duo, looks to Vegito with veins bulging and pulsating all over his body and lets out 
sorry for the wait, my fellow king. But I'm done talking of the kids. I'm more of yours. Oh shit, here we go. Without a word more of a goodbye, that nigga build different about King Jack. <laughs> walks off towards the God Killer, leaving Kaba and Kefla behind. And as he gets closer and closer, only a smirk begins to grow on his face. As inside he thinks, I wonder if he has any idea how long I've waited for this moment. God Killer! As mm, towering tall, too. Oh, over shit. Ultra Vegito, King Sodala appears right in front of the folded armed Fuse Saiyan. Staring right into his eyes domineeringly, unfearful in any way. Oh, what? He ain't gonna fuck. What's up? He want all the smoke. He was only inches away from him. Looking up calmly and unfazed, Vegeta would then say, So. Are you going to stare at me all day with those big yellow eyes? Or are you going to show me something? Where is this new power? I don't sense anything different about you. Can we get this over with? I have a date with a certain kid. kitty. Oh my god. To which the king, just looking down without even the slightest bit of a smile, replies. <laughs> Just as I would expect of fellow Saiyan royalty. Just as impatient as my brother once was. Mm -hmm. But no matter. If you want to cut to the chase and see my true power, then this is one request I can grant you, Vegito. Oh and no. A moment to waste, Not the Broly the music. Oh no. Begins oh no. His teeth madly. His nostrils flaring up as veins even appear on his cheeks. His <laughs> arms first bulking up massively as the his fists pressure. close so tight, traces of blood begin to see. Nigga, what? his back now growing in size to insanity level. Nigga, you already as built different. What the fuck are you bigger for? <laughs> begin to emanate all around his body, affecting the very planet itself with his transformation. Oh man, this fucking thing go hard. Oh man. The ground beneath him, spitting in all directions, as if the surface itself can't withstand his energy. Fuck enough. And from outside, oh, the no. planet once again begins to visibly shudder and quake. The spiritual pressure. <sighs> oh my god. This is even worse than Kaba. Oh my god. As Vegito, standing across from the king, can only step back slightly as he struggles to keep his balance from a now falling apart planetary surface. Mm. But as we zoom in on Vegito's face, the true level of his surprise is seen as he comments. His power level, it's skyrocketing like nothing else. But how far will he go? <laughs> An almost in direct answer to Vegito's thoughts, the king roars even louder, signaling a second part to his transformation as his power level now already surpasses both Kefla's and final cabin. With the king yelling, with his eyes locked onto Vegito, witness the true power of the Saiyan. Uh oh. <gasps> Vegito, who was literally right near him on the other side, having just felt the power of the king's sudden burst in energy, is taken by surprise and then immediately flung across the battlefield, flying high in the air. <laughs> until eventually regaining himself, still covering his body from the vast swathes of air and pressure swarming at him from the king. As he then comments, Now it's going up even faster! Goddamn. But his form isn't even changing! Has he even begun? Or are we just getting started? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. And just as Vegeta wondered why nothing uh -oh. is changing appearance wise with the king, a change begins to happen, but in the most unexpected of ways. As suddenly, 
a tail begins to sprout oh, shit. from behind Super Saiyan stage. 4, holy. And it slowly then reaches its full length as the king, crouched over in body, becomes surrounded in a ball of aura that remains ominously slow moving. And the king's hair turns from black to that white really and hard. grows massively in length. His arms and chest now unbelievably becoming surrounded in a white fur too. As if his hair uh -oh. is spreading like a virus through his body. Until from behind we see the final full length of his long white strands take shape. Super Saiyan 5? End, King Sadala final? reaches his final form. His oh. hair spiked up uncontrollably in white. Oh his my god. body covered in silver fur. Oh my and god. His tail out in full force. All the while, he bears the same crimson red eyes as Kaba. Oh my god. Oh no. He is no final King Sadala or Beast King. More so, he resembles a certain legendary form from decades ago. Yeah. Super Saiyan 5? And in the aftermath, he about to fuck him up right quick. Oh my god. Who is that? Oh. Silently he about to fuck Jesus. him, y'all. Not breaking his glance while ravenous sparks of randomized electricity encompass his body. He about to fuck him. But behind, where Cabra and Kefla look on, the tall stature of their royal king in an all new form is clear to see. Surrounded in bursting aura is enough to leave both in a state of paralysis and shock until. He's a darling. <laughs> he did it. He really did it. It's spiritual pressure. Oh my god. Contrast yells out. Father, you damn old geezer. I knew you were good for something. Get Bruh. him, Dad. <laughs> and similarly, Can't you want to talk shit? Completely full of delight, you cannot talk shit, bro. You have to go call our help. And let's out. It's done, Vados. We won. I told you we'd go down like this. The Oracle Fish never lies. Remind me to get some extra nice fish food once we're done here. The disrespect. The disrespect. Barbados, also with a more calm and quietly confident look, just responds. Yes, my lord. As usual, your wisdom never fails you. This king has followed through just as you said. Surely, the strongest mortal to ever exist. Uh, what? <laughs> Is this? <laughs> but in a complete <laughs> switch, when we come back to Vegito, <laughs> the thoughts oh. and feelings are thoroughly different. Shitless. As a wide-eyed now Vegito begins thinking, Whoa! He's completely different! He looks like some sort of Super Saiyan! That tail! That fur! No way! He looks just like those two guys from before! Almost mm. like... A Super Saiyan 4! As within the confines of Vegito's mind, mm. he begins to think back to GT Goku and Vegeta, who he had met previously, until... <gasps> no way! Vegito's face becomes even more shell-shocked as he then puts the pieces of the puzzle together and yells... Could this be... Uh, the Super, Super Saiyan 5! <laughs> this power, it has to be! It's unbelievable. And again, access with a tail. Just how far could we Saiyans really go without God forms? <laughs> mm. But meanwhile, the king finally breaking his silence, looking down at the palm of his hand as he says in self admiration. <laughs> Looks like you finally caught on to what you're going up against. This is another level to you, friend. This is the true ultimate form of the Saiyans. The power that can only be achieved by those with 100% of their Saiyan potential unlocked. 
Oh my god. 100% SO. Oh my this god. This tail just gave me my final percent. Holy. Before changing his expression once more and looking to Vegito callously yelling, now bow down to the true king, Vegito. Oh no, no, he didn't tell you to bow. He didn't tell you to kneel and just now, bro. Confident God in the background. This nigga cannot talk shit, bro. Please stop talking shit, bitch. A lap and yells, Scared now, God killer. Allow me to savor the fear in your voice as you're beaten to a pulp. Bro, shut your, your ass up. Timely fate to you a talking cash state. money shit. Just as my Keep that same to. energy, bro. Go now, King. Destroy him. Keep that same energy, <laughs> fam. Uh oh, it's up there now. Nah, here we go. As if truly bent by the need to jump up, rushes in immediately with a ferocity that would make even Broly proud. As a seemingly alarmed Vegito just stands paralyzed still in the distance. And once we look closer, uh, the true uh, 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 fear is written uh, uh, all across the God Killer's face in the midst of face. the legendary Super Saiyan 5. As he can only oh, mutter out, No! No! The ultimate Saiyan! How? How can I be that? Psych! So oh my god, nigga says psych! <laughs> Ultra Vegito's face shifts in one of demonic nature. That nigga says psych. Demon time. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the music is perfect, bro. I know the soundtrack, bro. I got, I got the same shit. Who did it? I forgot, I forgot the music. Man, who made the soundtrack? In an odd scene, as the Super Saiyan Five King, that nigga says psych. For the God Killer, Vegeta remains standing motionless, not even Hold attempting on, to shy away in any capacity. Man, ah. and eventually, he ate that the incredibly shit? powerful punch then makes he it ate move, that shit? landing flush hard with a thunderous impact on Vegeta's face. It is, oh my God. <laughs> How's that, Vegito? Nigga, he now ate I that know nigga. That had to hurt. Is this the power you so desired nigga, to see? Ate, nigga, he ate that. And Vegito, who remains still, nigga, he didn't still even budge, nigga. His fist firmly imprinted in his face remains eerily silent, as if perhaps knocked out standing until. What power? Oh my You're god. You're kidding, right? I thought we were warming up. <gasps> Nani? Leaving the king at oh first, my god, back wait a minute. Until... <gasps> what? What is that? As the king pulls his arm back in fear and disbelief, having realized not only that his attack did nothing, but also after seeing a certain scene on Vegito's face in the aftermath of his attack. Uh -oh. As ironically, uh -oh. left behind uh -oh. is in fact uh -oh. the God Killer's signature black eye with oh my white God. iris. Uh -oh. Now signaling his activation of the stolen God and angel powers within his body. Mm. With his arm fully pulled back, the domineering king of the Saiyans that then trembles in the shit. presence oh of Vegeta, muttering, How? Why? Why didn't you move? <laughs> Why aren't you damaged? I am the ultimate Saiyan! Bitch, please! Vegito, only I'm not gonna know who you fucking with. Back. <laughs> ultimate Saiyan? Huh. Maybe in your universe. Yeah, nigga. You don't even hold a candle to the weakest Saiyan back in mind. Oh my god. Before holding his head back upright and with a slight grin, oh my that god. Would scare anyone, he lets out. But if holding onto that title means so much to you, you can have it. After all, I'm no saying anymore. Oh lord, what's going I am a god killer. Uh. <gasps> As suddenly, a look of fear and shock comes across the king's face. But it doesn't seem to be because of Vegito's words. I only but want instead, revenge. something much worse. <laughs> <coughs> As unbelievably to Topo. the king, an apparition of the former God of Destruction candidate, Topo, instantly appears behind the king. 
and bear hugs him with the same intensity he had given to Goku in the past. This mm. time, the grip being so tight that the king immediately coughs out blood. Toppo's power, of course, being amplified with Vegito's own strength. But even as the uh -oh. king struggles to breathe under the bone crushing grip of Toppo, and he not even fully transformed either, bro. Like, to be done. all he got is the as black he eye here and got the fucking full transformation. Uh, oh my god. Oh fuck. Sorry, but it's time for that date of mine. Uh -oh. As Vegito's whole body becomes surrounded by an eerily mysterious energy before. <gasps> no! No! Stop! <laughs> oh shit! In a scene that harks back to what Kefla had done to Vegito last chapter, Vegito blasts King Sidala with a tsunami of energy that seemingly instantly vaporizes him. He ate that, right? The aftermath resulting in a massive explosion as the beam hits the ground. But in the distance, okay. the level of control Vegeta must have actually used is revealed. As though the Topo apparition had been destroyed by its own creator, the near lifeless mm. but still just about breathing body of the king is seen Nigga floating stood no in the chance distance. in hell. All that for nothing. <laughs> All that for nothing. As when we zoom in, oh my god, and Champa talking cash on his shit too. Oh, the king, oh my god. Now back in base form, covered in his own blood, and his pupils now missing from having rolled back to his head. Slowly but surely, the king's near dead body would continue to descend down back to the ground with a deafening silence. <laughs> Damn. Before landing brutally by the base of his neck, his heavy legs almost reaching his face uncontrollably. Until finally, with his whole body stretched out and motionless, the king remained unconscious. Bruh. Only able to mutter as his final words. Good killer. Father! King? Poor bastard note to the chain. Bruh. <sighs> Now what you were saying, Chompa? Hold up. Scene, the don't, don't switch up now. Nah, like I said, keep that same energy. Warriors paint a shocking picture. Damn. As Kefla, Kappa, Chompa, and Vodos all stare in disbelief and consternation as they try to take in that not only was their king and trump card defeated and on the verge of death, but also in such convincingly effortless fashion. Like, bro, he ate that punch, bro. <laughs> But I'm still tripped up about the psych, bro. That's a thumbnail, bro. Oh my god, psych. No, 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 the king can't be defeated. Hold on, like that. Where you was, Bodos? Tell me this is an illusion. No, I shouldn't have been too fast. You were talking good, Catholic shit. Curiously, his angel attendant, only an unusual silence is given back. Bodos. Leading oh, to shit. the god to turn around furiously, continuing. Are you listening to me, Angel? How dare you? Huh? Here we go, got a ass. Vados. Here we go, fam. But suddenly, as Chomper turns around, he wears it no time. Here we get up, bro. In front of him, silencing him in the spot as his body goes stiff in shock. But what could it be? Damn! And finally, blister ass without even knowing it, bro. Oh my god. RP bottles. Hey, at least, at least you need some more video shit for baby girl. You know what I'm saying? And we got a soft spot for bottles. It is really going to be none other than Bodos. Now looking like an empty, wrinkly flap of skin on the ground. No, man. Clearly the victim of Vegito's cell tail. Bodos! You next, nigga. Jumper, who at this point knows not what else to say, can only incessantly yell out the name of his former angel attendant. Until finally... Calm down, kitty. Oh, From Lord. Behind, oh, my God. Demon time. Here we go. Jumper didn't want to hear the one voice that would bring shivers down his very spine calls to him <laughs> and him alone. And as his pupils move to the corner of his eyes to confirm who it is, 
to us and everyone around, it is revealed to be none other than Ultra Vegeta. That's still fucking disgusting. And just as predicted in the middle of retracting his cell arm too. The very arm which had just absorbed the very life force of his own angel. <laughs> Why you? But as the hopelessness of the situation hits Chumper, he reaches his fight or flight moment and chooses to become enraged, turning his body to get his own chance at taking down the God King. The bitch ass up. Oh my god, he went deep inside. But in the end, he doesn't even get a chance as brutally. With a powerful cross, talking shit? Vegito penetrates the torso of Chumper with his entire arm creating a massive, gaping hole in the process. And shockingly, once we look inside the body of the god, we see Vegito's own hand is grabbing the very Did he heart took of Chumper, like a heart? pulsating as the heart beats faster and faster from the god's apparent fear. This nigga like took this nigga like heart, man. What are you doing? And with the god he took this nigga being heart, allowed bro. to say a few more words, nigga, he, he, he hit you with a fucking fatality, nigga. Oh my god. What sadistic thing Vegeta was now doing to them. <sighs> I'm doing what I should have done a long time ago, Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> I'm making sure you never harm another innocent mortal ever again. Your energy is mine! And suddenly, in a rush of trickling energy, the very god key Vegito absorbs through Champa comes straight through his heart in an mm. instant, being drained completely until. <laughs> With a sudden and oh violent god. closing of his fist, Hol Ultra Holy. Vegito bursts the heart of the god in one swoop. Instantly ending his life. And in the wake, Vegito then roughly removes his arm, leaving the truly lifeless Chumpa now standing on bodily instinct alone, wobbling more and more uncontrollably until Chumpa's deceased body then falls to the ground without a murmur. Poetically, next to his angel attendant Vados, once again. And with that, you know what I'm saying? Hold, hold, like, you know what I'm saying? Finally, with his next godly victim, Vegito raises his arm to do oh, God. the thing we all know he must. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Fuck out of here, little bitch. Yelling the chant of the destroyers Bye, with Garfield. passion, with just as much conviction as he did from day one. And as expected, both of the bodies of Vados and Chaka vanish oh, immediately. God damn. To nothing, never to be seen or heard from again in the living world. <laughs> You're like, what the Chopper! fuck? No. Why? This, of course, leaving the traumatized Kefla and Kaba, who both have lost all their energy, having given it to the king earlier, yeah, they can't now do shit. just standing powerless, watching as everything around them metaphorically crumbles away. <laughs> Finally, over halfway through the list, only five gods and angels till the big day. Oh my god. It's time to get a move on. Sheesh. Leaving the smirking Vegito to think on what he's just done and what's next. While little does he know, in the distance, behind him in the sky, the fuck? a mystery figure appears watching. Godly in nature, but humanoid in appearance. Could it be Goku the Black. Grand Priest? Goku but Black. no, in the sky, Ooh. finally in the same scene as Vegito, watching him oh. from afar, is nah, he cannot fact, talk shit. Goku Black, looking down with one hand on his hip and a serious look as he thinks, Now, do my eyes deceive me, or is that the fusion of Goku and Vegeta down there? The heroes of Universe 7 now slaughtering the gods and angels? Huh. <laughs> How things can change. Damn fickle mortals. 
As I won't be talking shit if I was you. To a simpler time. I would not be when talking shit if I was you, my boy. To defeat the original God Killer. But that was it for today's video, guys. And if you made it eh. this far, leave me a hashtag God, God Killer, Killer in the comments down below. And Bruh. let me know how the first interaction between Goku Black and Ultra Vegito should go. Or just head over to my Patreon right now where you can see the full next video fully oh voice acted, God. soundtracked, and edited for you team. Bro, these some lengthy ass motherfucking videos, bro. Look at this shit. 40 minutes, 40, 38 minutes. This, this one was what? 40, 41 minutes. God damn, man. <sighs> sorry, sorry, Goku Black, bro. My, my, my boy, what you doing the better, bro? He actually killing shit. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't with a bitch route and, you know what I'm saying, kill the Kai's. Nah, he, he, he killing every goddamn body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kill the Kai's just to, just to kill the God destruction. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he killing every goddamn body. Oh my God. Oh shit. He powered up all. He. All that was for naught. He did all that shit for nothing. He got his ass fucking beat. He ate that punch, bro. I'm tripped out still, y'all. This nigga said, what I'm gonna do against that? Psych! This nigga said, psych. Oh my god, what is that that fucking demonic face he made, bro? He ate that fucking punch. Oh my god, bro. After that, like now, nah, I don't know what the fuck he's gonna do now. Like, if I was him, like he might recruit them, but at the same time, like he got if the only way he can recruit them, he gotta let them know what's up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tell them what happened. And then they might then then they might come to his side. Maybe. But we already got a uh, uh Gogeta, you know what I'm saying? GT Goku and Goku, and you know what I'm saying? We got we got a pissed off Jiren. The best believe when that nigga get out, he is he he is pissed. <laughs> I do not know. I don't want to know how strong that motherfucker about to become. I do not want to fucking know. Hit might join the squad. I don't know. I, uh, I think I hope Goku Black can take that tire ring. To be honest, bro, but everybody is loving what the fuck, like, bro. This is this is ridiculous. That psych moment just shows how twisted Vegeta and how powerful he has become. Facts, my nigga. That psych moment was fucking cold. Oh, my God, bro. That psych moment was fucking insane. Oh man, oh man. But hey, 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 hey. Yeah, my fact, I'm about to put that. That stuck killed me, bro. Yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm gonna type my two cents. That psych. That shit killed me, bro. Holy. But damn, man. Thank you for watching, bro. Again, another W video for my arch, bro. You know what I'm saying? I might also do. Uh. The next video, probably Friday, because tomorrow is going to be a movie reaction. I ain't going to tell y'all which movie, though. I probably could guess. If y'all watch the videos and what the fuck I be saying, I probably can guess. But yeah, tomorrow's going to be a movie reaction, and I'm probably going to react to the next video for this shit. Friday. Yeah, or something else. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, thank you for watching. You guys enjoy the reaction, man. Again, hit the video with a like, comment below, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good jazz. Go subscribe to ours because he is fucking killing it with these fucking <laughs> chapters every fucking couple of days. I want to say weekly. I, I'm not even really catching him like because like I'm trying to let him low key build up. Like I said, you know what I'm saying. This shit, now, how long this shit been going on for a little? This one been going on for a little spinning though, I believe. I gotta go see. But uh, yeah. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.